Hello, uh, today I'd like to demonstrate the uh, iPower Tower gas stove unit. Uh, this is designed for a gas stove. As you can see, this is the unit. Uh, it has a heat absorber with a stem going to the cold side. And the devices that produce the electricity are sandwiched in between the hot side and the heat removal side. You simply just lay this down on a stove once assembled. You then take your water, or in fact, actually, you can light it first, just like you normally would light a stove. And you don't need a lot of heat here, so you're you're basically running running the stove at a at a, basically the same pace you would run it when you're cooking. You place your water on there, and you basically wait for the heat to move from the hot side to the heat removal side. And a portion of that heat is then converted directly into electricity. We use very high temperature devices. They're rated at 320 Celsius, so 640 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we've been doing this for 30 years. This is a very um, active, very efficient method of producing secondary utility, which is electricity. Um, and it works very effectively as a waste heat uh, uh, energy source. Now, as you can see, the light here on the LED of the board is the is the indicator to tell you that it is generating power. We did run this just before, just to test it and make sure everything is working the way we want it to. And here you have it. Now, right now we have just two lights on the LED. So as you can see, we got one light here, and we got a secondary light here. And we've just built the circuit for this. Um, it's, it's wired in the back for a circuit, so I can turn this off and still have this secondary light on, or I can turn this one off and turn this one on. And that can be easily done with this system as a package. We can design all the options that come with the unit so the client knows exactly what to plug in. So as you can see, this is using utilizing the 12 volt side. So there's two circuits here. There's a five volt circuit for USB that would include battery charging, or LED lights or a radio, which we will demonstrate in a second. And then you have a secondary side, which is uh, the 12 volt side. Now that would run a, a, a battery, 12 volt battery for use for later at night when lights are not, when lights, when, when it's dark out and you need lighting and you're not running your stove. So you don't have to continually run your stove here to produce electricity. You actually have a secondary circuit on the unit that you can then trickle charge a 12 volt battery for use later on at in the evening. So what we'll do now is we will turn this off. We will plug in the USB. I will plug in the phone. And there you see Nokia turning on and it is now charging the phone. So it will charge the phone at roughly about 5 watts, 4 to 5 watts, which is basically what a, a standard phone requires at 5 volts, okay? And it'll continue charging um, until you turn it off, and then it'll turn off. And there it goes, it's turned off now. Now, if you need a radio, we would supply a radio as well as an option again to the system. We would remove this connector. Again, you're using a USB, which is common. We would turn on the light, as you can see here. We have a light, and on this device we have a radio. And there's your radio. So, the system is a very utilitary ordinate, uh, um, you turn it on again. Takes a minute just to turn on. Turn off the light. Now you're doing this while you're cooking. So it's, you're not wasting any heat. You're not producing, taking fuel from a, a, a dedicated fuel source to produce the electricity. You can, if you don't want to cook, you can produce extra electricity, but you don't have to. So this is a very utilitary uh, way of, of producing electricity 
Um, again, 12 volt backup for later in the night when you're not cooking. And we're just going to turn this off and I'm going to show you. So you turn the unit off. There is stored energy in the hot side. It's a thermal battery and it, is, it will continue to run. And you can see the lights still operate even with the, 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 the gas off and they'll operate for about 15 minutes. The larger the mass on the hot side, the more heat is stored and then transfers to the cold side. As long as there's a differential between the two, you will produce electricity. And this could last for 20 minutes, 25 minutes past, depending on how much heat you have stored in the hot side and the difference between the hot and the cold side or heat removal side. So you can see here, we're running multiple utilities. We got three, now we got three and I can run the radio. So you got three lights and the radio operating. The unit is now turned off. Now it will only last for about 15 minutes, but this is a utility that you can use. Now you can even charge as well a 12 volt battery. So hopefully we demonstrated the utility of the system, the ability of this system to take waste heat that's already being occupied for cooking and convert some of that heat into utility for the client who's operating this system. It's a very easy unit. You fill it with water. Uh, it takes roughly 1.2 liters of water to fill this tower. Uh, the tower will bubble at the top, but it doesn't boil. And, the, and it's the uniqueness of the design. It's this tall line. It creates a thermal siphoning effect inside. So basically the heat is generated here. It rises, it cools, and as it cools, it falls back down and it creates this thermal siphoning effect patented effect that we have patents on. Um, and then the hot side is simply designed, as you can see, to cascade the existing burner design. So it doesn't interfere with your cooking ability. It just, it's just an assistant that extracts the heat from a hot surface and transfers it to the cold side. So this is the iPower Tower. Uh, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Hope uh, we demonstrated this well. Um, eventually these lights will go out. Trust me, they will go out. Um, there is nothing holding this. As you can see, there is nothing here except this. And here you can see the wiring on the back. Just in case you're wondering why these lights are still on. There is nothing here. No battery is involved in this. Uh, you can add a battery, as I said, 12 volt battery, or even a, a six volt or five volt battery that you can charge as well. So, the, the secondary side, just to let you know, is what we call a, a constant current. So what we deliver is any voltage from 1.2 volts, 1.5, 3.7, 6 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, up to 20 volts you can charge from this circuit, this secondary circuit. Now this happens to be a 12 volt standard battery, but you can put any battery on this circuit and it will trickle charge that circuit. Doesn't matter what the voltage is, the, we have a smart micro in here that's programmed to accept any voltage and charge it at a constant current. And that's the system. Now you can see this light starting to dim because the power is starting to fade. And uh, eventually these lights will go out. But this is the utility of the system. Thank you very much.